seems much better. <laughs> I am so sorry for the attack of whatever electronic sound that was going through the airwaves <laughs> during my first daylight with Dean this morning that I deleted. Um, so I would like to say welcome to Daylight with Dean number 160 on September 21st, 2020. I'm so grateful that you're here this morning. I'm not sure if it's the first day of spring. I haven't heard anything, but I know it's usually the 20th, 21st, somewhere in there. So spring, first day of fall. <laughs> oh my, I need my coffee. Let's, uh, let's begin with our sip of coffee this morning. Wow, great to be with you today. And uh, uh, today is Monday, and it is my day off, and I'm quite excited about it. I'm going to the gym at 6.30, and then I'm going to the other uh, group of my two friends I work out with Monday, Wednesday, and Friday have not been there for a week and a half because Friday... Monday, Wednesday, Friday, the last four times did not work for me. So I'm grateful. It's almost two weeks since I've gone there. Great to be looking forward to working out with them as well. And um, then my day is open and I get to figure out as my day off <laughs> exactly what I'm going to do. Now, I woke up at about 1.30 this morning and... I guess I had some caffeine because I didn't get back to sleep till after 2.30. And I, I was just laying in bed thinking about what I was going to do today. <laughs> and I have so many options that it was keeping me awake at night. <laughs> yes, I could not <laughs> figure out uh, which project I was going to focus on today. So I will... Um, I will probably ask my wife and take her input and then um, figure it out. So I hope you have a great Monday planned. Um, uh, great day at the river yesterday. Uh, it was nice and chilly before we started at 10 a.m., uh, but then... Uh, the sun was out in full force, so it was interesting on both sides of the tent. Uh, there were lots of people sitting out in the sun because the sun was warm. And then under the tent in the shade, uh, there were just a handful of people. So I would preach. I like, to, I like to look at the people when I'm talking to them. So I would go to the right side of the tent and I'd preach. And then I'd walk all the way over to the left side of the tent and I'd preach. And then I'd stop and talk to the few people in the middle for a little bit and then I'd move over here. It was, it was quite interesting uh, back and forth. Um, I hope that you had an opportunity to watch the online service yesterday. That was, uh, that was a whole lot of fun. Uh, I found myself in the dumps and uh, I mean dumpster. <laughs> If you haven't seen, I preached the second half of the sermon from inside the dumpster behind the church. Uh, it it um, kind of illustrated uh, the point that Elijah had gotten to in his life where he was in such a dark place. He was in the dumps. He was in a dumpster. Actually, he was just... Uh, exasperated and worn out and and uh, needed refreshed and replenished and so um, it was an enjoyable it was an enjoyable uh, sermon to film and it's funny it, early on when I'm sitting in the dumpster there's this fly flying around that lands on I think it lands on my ear and then lands on my nose and I just sit there and ignore it <laughs> 
So have you ever uh, climbed in a dumpster for your job? Um, or possibly dove in a dumpster uh, after something really important or looking for something of value. Um, it was it was fun. It was I was really happy with how it all came together. Um, so, how was your Sunday? Did you have a good one? I hope that you had a great Sunday. Um, we are celebrating today with the few minutes that we have left because of the uh, uh, sound issues we had on my first attempt at daylight. We kind of are cut short a little bit on time, but had a great day yesterday. Um, I got to officiate a wedding for a friend and her granddaughter in her backyard over in Terenum just had a delightful setting for uh, their wedding and really appreciate the invitation to and the opportunity to celebrate together with them. And um, um, so had had a great time uh, with Devin and Jade as they begin their lives together with their um, ring bearer. <laughs> They, they gave uh, Sean the, the rings on a pillow and I, I'm, I'm always anxious when there's not a best man and the child has the rings on the pillow that the rings are going to disappear. Uh, they did not. I uh, was able to get them and do the ring exchange and it all was great. Um, so I had that wedding at 3 o'clock yesterday and uh, as you're seeing by the shirt that I'm wearing, um, the Steelers won yesterday. Very exciting Monday when the Steelers win. It's not so happy of a Monday when they lose. Uh, yes, I know it was not all that impressive of a win. Yes, I know our our defense uh, did not look as good as you would have hoped. Yes, I know the Denver Broncos, uh, all of their starting lineup was injured and we were playing against their backups. Yes, I know. I know. I get it. My enthusiasm is well aware of that. And yet the Steelers still won. <laughs> So um, I, uh, it was an exciting evening after that. Um, anytime the Steelers win, it's an exciting evening in our house. And um, so much so that I gave my wife the control of the television and we didn't even watch all of Sunday Night Football. We caught uh, a couple shows uh, together and had a nice evening as well. So. Uh, I hope that today your day is filled with good things. Mm. Whether that be coffee at just the right drinking temperature. Or something else. So, um, in this series, Refresh, a series of messages, we've been talking about kind of God refreshing our lives and talking about people in Scripture that He has done that with and done that for. And I was sharing with a friend that I... Uh, asking how I am and I really try to answer that question honestly when people ask me and so I paused and I said I'm, I'm well I'm well and he said really and I said yeah yeah if you'd asked me that about three weeks ago four weeks ago right in the middle of the time of the storm that came through our neighborhood and being without electricity for a bit and my friend that had that tragedy and my brother-in-law surgery and all these things that were boom, 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 hitting me so like, wow, um, I was struggling and, uh, that eight day, nine day period of time was, was real challenging. 
and I was honest with you about it. I was honest with people at the river about it. And, um, you know, one of, one of the things that's interesting is God's refreshment and replenishment. It, it, it comes gradually. <laughs> it's not just like turning a switch. It's, oh, okay, I'm all, I'm getting better. And so just continuing to keep moving forward trusting, praying, hoping, loving, moving toward joy, all of that. Um, and now, like, two and a half weeks out, I'm like, ah, I'm, I'm at a better place. Um, and so thank you for um, all of your thoughts and prayers. Uh, I have to admit, for me, I think the weather has something to do with it as well. Moving out of the heat and humidity into the cool fall, man, it just doesn't get any better than that, man. I'm so excited that fall is here. And um, I hope that you are ready for a great fall as as well. And uh, ah. Well, thank you for allowing me to share uh, this segment of my morning with you. And I hope that you have a great day and a great week ahead. And I would like to just uh, pray that um, today that the Lord surprises you with his grace and his love and his goodness throughout your day. Now let's pray. Father, we thank you for the opportunity that we have to be here today to pause and celebrate another day, another gift from you, another day with breath in our lungs uh, that we can live for you, that we can bring glory to you, that we can bless others. And Father, I just pray that we would uh, follow you fully today. Uh, we invite you to do our day with us, lead us, guide us, direct us. The Spirit of God, we ask that you would navigate today with us, help us throughout our day. Pray that you would be near us and comfort us and point out when we're about to make an unwise choice, a poor choice, Help us make wise choices that bring glory to you. And Lord, we're so grateful for this gift of today. Lord, I ask that you would bless each person here and all they have today. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen, guys. Great to see you on this Monday morning, and I cannot wait to see you again tomorrow on Tuesday. Have a great Monday. Bye.